been rough, boys and girls. Bitcoin has now had nine consecutive weekly red candles. McDonald's job applications whew, through the roof. And Luna did a magic trick that turned $60 billion into zero in just three days. But last week, something different has happened. A beautiful, small, very, very small, but green candle appeared on the Bitcoin chart. Here we go. The bear market turnaround is here. The sun coming out after the storm. May we all flood to the streets and celebrate together, embracing each other's arms. May we take off our McDonald's name badges and hand them. Hold on a sec, someone's at the door. It's Tron, the world's 13th largest cryptocurrency, valued at over $7 billion. And he says he's recently launched an algorithmic stablecoin that pays 20% APY. And he promises that he is nothing like Luna. Should we let him join the party? Well, before you answer, consider this. Tron's founder is named Justin Sun, and a lot of people speculate that he is the biggest scammer in all of crypto, which in itself would be really impressive. In fact, there's rumors that his Tron's white paper, the 13th biggest cryptocurrency, is plagiarized. People are saying he's faked partnerships with huge organizations such as Liverpool Football Club. And to top it all off, apparently he did a fake Tesla giveaway. But we'll get to those allegations. Right now, we need to know, is Tron a ticking time Bomb. Will it follow Luna's footsteps and plunge us even deeper into a bear cycle? And if so, should you short Tron and make out like an absolute bandit, just like the people who shorted Luna? Or are people wrong about Justin's son? Or is this very small green candle the start of another bull cycle? We're about to find out. Hit that like button below for me and let's jump in. So the most upvoted post on Reddit's cryptocurrency subreddit with over 5 million users is this. Are we going to ignore that Tron, TRX, with a 7.5 billion dollar market cap is pretty much following Luna's footsteps. The post details striking similarities between Tron and Luna. And if you're subscribed to this channel, you probably know what happened to Luna. $60 billion, three days, gone. Why? Their algorithmic stablecoin that paid out 20% APY, depegged. boom. And Luna's fall took a big chunk out of the total cryptocurrency market as well. $400 billion disappearing in three weeks. That's all those red candles we referred to at the start. But this post not only highlights the striking similarities between Tron's fundamentals and Luna's, but also the similarities between their founders, Do Kwan and Justin Sun. I mean, the top comment reads, Justin Sun is a hell of a con artist. I'm honestly looking forward to a movie made about him. Now, Tron has been around since 2017, but it's very recently popped up on everybody's radars because it seems to have defied the latest bear cycle. While the market has lost 5% in the last 14 days, Tron's token is up 6%. And a lot of this growth is speculated to be because of their recently launched stablecoin, USDD. Now this is an algorithmic stablecoin that is pegged to the dollar value through a burn and mint mechanism that arbitrages can come along and pe keep pegged to the dollar by getting paid the difference, just like Luna. Now USDD is no small project. It's the 10th largest stablecoin by market cap with over $700 million and it is growing like crazy. In fact, they had a 231% increase in market cap over the last 30 days. This growth rate is almost 10x the second fastest growing stablecoin out there. Now, why would this token be growing so quickly? After all, USDC exists, a stablecoin that transparently backs their dollars with real dollars. And they have a $54 billion market cap, probably the most trusted stablecoin out there at the moment. Well, obviously, USDC doesn't pay you 20% APY. But if you remember the whole anchor protocol shenanigans, you may just want to think twice about storing your money here. But then you have a lot of people actually defending the Tron protocol, saying it has insanely low fees, it's been around since 2017 and it's had zero downtime. These supporters even point out the actual differences between Luna and Tron and their stablecoins, where the Tron stablecoin is a one-way mint and burn street and the Luna is a two-way mint and burn. And of course, the USDD is one of the world's first over-collateralized stablecoins and they promise to hold 130% of assets compared to how much money they have in their stablecoin. Meaning if they have a billion dollars invested in this stablecoin, they're gonna have to hold 1.3 billion dollars in assets just to back it. But in my opinion, if you dig deeper into what they're actually using to collateralize or over collateralize their stablecoin, things get a little more sketchy because almost a third of their collateral is backed by Tether, which is another stablecoin that's speculated to not be collateralized at all. A little bit of collateralception. I mean, can you imagine if Tether come out and say that they're actually collateralized by USDD? That would make things pretty messy. But I'll let you make up your own mind regarding the tokenomics of this project. What's a little bit more black and white are the allegations against the founder, Justin Sun, who legitimately likes to be referred to as his excellency. 
starting with the plagiarism of his white paper. So Justin Sun's 2017 white paper for Tron has been widely speculated to be a complete plagiarism ripoff of the white papers of Filecoin and IPFS. I mean, take a look at this BitSwap strategy page, for example. On the left, we have Tron's white paper and on the right, we have IFPS's white paper. You can see both are titled BitSwap strategy, not enough to prosecute yet. But they're both broken down into four objectives. Tron's first objective reads, maximize the node and overall transaction performance, where IFPS's is, is maximize the trade performance for the node and the whole exchange. I mean, similar in sentiment, but not word for word. The formulas, however, are exact and even spaced out in the exact same way. Justin Sun's response to this is that these English papers have originally been translated from the original Mandarin version. And he says, mistakes have been made in the translating and they aren't 100% right. Okay, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt for this one. But what about his fake partnership with Liverpool Football Club? I mean, how are you gonna fake something like that? That's way more easy to prove. In 2019, Justin Sun tweeted out this. Thank you for the unique and innovative invitation, Liverpool. I'm impressed and looking forward to exploring this Tron new partnership together. And he attached the video of the actual red invitational envelope that has a screen inside detailing the partnership. Now, the criticism was that Sun had inferred that this was an official partnership and it came out that the Liverpool spokesman eventually confirmed this saying the invitation was emailed to Tron and many other companies as part of the football club's continual attempts to stay up to speed on developments in technology. A spokesperson from Liverpool Football Club has since confirmed there is no official partnership with Tron but to me the criticism of this seems a lot less valid. Sun did in fact receive a legitimate partnership package from Liverpool. He may have been slightly premature in tweeting it out to his fans since there was no real signed contract of it yet, but his wording was looking forward to exploring this partnership. So maybe next time just throw the word potential partnership in there and you'll be fine. But what about the fake Tesla giveaway? Well, His Excellency Justin Sun wanted more Twitter followers. It's been said that Justin Sun's Twitter approach is the same he used for his coin launch. Aggressive hype. Apparently he's told Vitalik Buterin that he's had more followers than him. He buys Twitter ads to reach more people with his tweets. And now he's giving away $20 million and a Tesla for people to follow him. So all you had to do in order to be eligible to win this Tesla is retweet this tweet right here and follow him. Everything seems pretty fine so far. However, when Justin Sun announced the actual winner of this prize, he said, we shared a video of the selection process for transparency. Due to the large size of the video, Twitter wasn't able to compress it properly, resulting in a glitch. We'll contact Twitter to make sure this doesn't happen again. We apologize to the community for the mishap. Suspicious. I mean, why didn't he just upload the video somewhere else and link to it on Twitter? Well, a lot of people were skeptical and eventually Tron uploaded the original file on their Twitter. This was the video. Fans were still skeptical and one fan in particular dug deeper into the software that he used in order to make this random draw. John Gelt found that Justin Sun did 88 draws using the Tesla giveaway tweet. The first draw ended in the winner being a bot. Then draws two to 88 were done by the same IP address that had actually announced the real winner. Meaning the winner in the video was actually the 89th time that this draw happened. Which of course is suspicious once again. Justin Sun then responded to these allegations. He said on Twitter, the team used a tweet randomizer tool because Twitter does not have an official drawing mechanism. The team was unfamiliar with the tool, performed a number of test draws to understand how it worked, 88 of them, which led to some misunderstanding. Okay, so there were some test draws, which seems fine. 88's a lot of them, but if it takes them that long to learn, that should be fine. And the price of a Tesla is nothing compared to the amount of money that Tron and their team has, especially Justin Sun. This shouldn't be a problem for him to give away a Tesla. But once again, there was still just like a 1% thing that was off. What wasn't clarified was the fact that the winning draw criteria searched had an additional condition than that was specified in the original giveaway post. The user must have tweeted between one and 999 times the hashtag TRX, which is the ticker of Tron. 
and this would make the draw not random at all, but actually favor people who had tweeted that tweet. So what are my personal thoughts? Well, obviously Justin Sun is someone who loves to push the boundaries. I mean, his ICO of Tron raising $70 million occurred the day before China banned ICOs completely. He misses out on words like potential partnership instead of partnership, and he adds extra criteria to giveaways to reward true fans who have been there for a long time compared to just someone who randomly retweeted. But I do think a lot of people jump on this negative negative hype bandwagon without doing their own research. Tokenomic wise, I'm not going anywhere near the USDD stablecoin, even though it pays 20% APY and that is super alluring, there's obvious risk associated with it. So whatever it is that you decide, make sure you're investing money you can afford to lose. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you stay educated on everything Web3.